Greetings to be schnauzers and to be uh, I figured since it's going to rain the next two or three days, I would shoot this old Mauser and uh, show you what it did. Whether it did to me or whatever uh, it did to something else. So, uh, I guess let's uh, gird our loins for the tra task at hand. Lucky Larry got him another Mauser. And I can't wait. He's got like a hundred things for him to shoot. But he don't live out in the country like I do. But I don't know how the how this thing kept from being all beat up. But it sure has got a pretty much nick free stock. But anyway, I'm gonna jerk it open and cram some bullets in it. And uh, this is a mistake. We won't know it until it's over. We'll put some Mausers down it. I mean, some eight eight millimeter Mausers in it. I think it holds five. If I can do this before Mary Ann gets home, she she doesn't like the bang and boom of anything. She has a startle response. Now, where is the back of that magazine? Where are you? Oh, there it is. It's hard to put this in there when you're looking behind something. Somebody told me this kick. I'm not supposed to shoot anything. I'm not supposed to shoot anything because of my neck. But we'll see. Well, the heck, it works on cartoons. And we're going to push one in the hole. Not very easily, but we pushed it in the hole anyway begrudgingly so. Now I got it on safe. Let's just go down here to the massacre place. I think the last time somebody was shooting down here it was Mr. Heavy Chevy shooting some of my sorry pistols and they wasn't they weren't sh shot for about a year and after that they weren't shot by the year. And they haven't been shot since. I don't shoot stuff much. And this would probably be the one and only time I shoot this little rascal. But anyway, quit. I hit the button. I'm always hitting buttons. Now I don't know if you want to see me shoot it, see what it does to me, and then I'll shoot, I'll uh, point you at the targets and see what it uh, it does to the targets. I got. Uh, some hard targets. I got a piece of boat arc, which is harder than steel. And I got a brick from uh, Little Rock, it says. And then I got a big piece of channel iron. And we're going to dodge that. Okay, I'm going to put this in go. All right. I can't see the sights on this. I guess it's all well and good. Why, it didn't kick at all. Was it loud? Okay. Phew, I smell that. Where would you all want to see this? From a safe distance, I hope. This looks awful safe to me. As soon as I can see where you're looking. Maybe there? Oh, quit! I keep hitting these buttons. Hmm. See, I haven't worked out a whole bunch of logistics on this.
I wonder if I can put you in the dirt. You can see that better. Can you see that? There's a brick, and there's a stick, and then right over there is a piece of metal. So, I think I'll shoot the brick first, just in case. That was five. That thing's hot. I don't know what happened. Where'd the brick go? Holy moly. I should have shot this a lot more. That's Bodark. Caught some trouble there, boy. Huh. Oh, well. That's hot. Yeah, I'm not walking good today, but I don't have to walk far to my firing range. Uh, here's a hole in this. And I don't know if you can tell how big a steel this is from here, but... Where is it? It zizzed right through it. The little rascal. I should shoot that a few more hundred times. That's pretty cool when you can poke a hole in that. And here's a, a fragment of it. Can you see the fragment? Of a bullet. Now, the bow dart sustained some ticklish things where oh I guess that's a hole that must be a hole 
and maybe that's a hole and that's a hole. Two holes in the boat arc and I don't know if it captured it. One of them left. I don't know really. I'd hate for the boat arc to do more than this steel. But it may have. So I may start making helmets out of boat arc if you can cut it. But there's looks like it's part of a brick. It says E Rock. Huh. Oh well. Don't hide behind a rock. Good thing I didn't hit this bomb. Patoom. Uh, okay, clean this mess up. Mm. There. But the old gun did good. Didn't blow up. And it didn't kick too bad. And the last couple shots, I didn't even hold it tight. I just let it chew on me. And the barrel got pretty, the barrel's still pretty warm. But, uh, when them Turks is riding across the Great Sahara and the plains thereafter, they had them a pretty neat little smoke pole. And when I had it apart, there's camel hair and sand and stuff all up under that stock. And I didn't see a lick of, uh, bluing under that, on the barrel or under the receiver underneath all that wood. I'm sure they had it coated. But, uh, the sand that I found was real white. And, uh, I've seen, I hate to say it, but I've seen sand over there a lot. And I've seen sand here. You can actually kick up sand here if you want to kick it up. And it's all sand. It all looks the same to me. But, this is real white stuff. So maybe they've got Tur Turks in Florida. I'll have to ask them Florida boys. But, uh, I'm going to call that a, a good... A good test and I'll put it up. Uh, there's a military museum up in Marshall, Arkansas, and that's where a bunch of my guns are going or have gone. So I won't have to say grace over them. And this might be going there on some kind of a semi permanent loan or display. So, anyway, that's just the way the Turks bounce. I don't know if I can see in this. Uh, yes, it's me. I uh, want y'all to be careful. And uh, uh, after this rain gets over, I'll play with the army truck a little bit more. I got some parts to put on it. And uh, by then, I'll be feeling better about doing it. Which I'm fine. I'm all right. And uh, we'll uh, do a first test drive of the army truck. Who knows where we'll go. We'll go all over the place. So uh, I'm going to say Saranachi, Senior Reaches, and Seniors. And uh, I love y'all. And uh, y'all take care of each other. Okay. Bye-bye. I can't see with this sun of mine where the button is.